Hey guys, this is Stephanie in Nashville, and today I've got a new makeup filming setup, so we shall see how this goes. I'm doing it kind of like Heidi, uh, jalapeno, I don't know the number, where she sits in front of her window, and I've kind of got light today. It's daylight outside. It's really kind of cloudy and foggy. At any rate, the whole um, kind of reason for this video is because I am going to use the Lorac, um, what is it, Liquid Luster 3D. And it comes in this really cute packaging. You shake it up if you, you know, all of the glitter will settle to the bottom and then you shake it up and it mixes it back up again. It has an interesting little applicator. It's a little dripper on the end of this. So I've got most of my makeup finished and I, the only thing left is to add the glitter, add the mascara, and then maybe touch up any eyeliner that I don't you know, that might get covered up with the process of adding the uh, the glitter. So let me show you how I've gotten to where I, I have. I have got Neutrogena Healthy Skin in Buff, which I really like. I've got Laura Mercier Pressed Powder in Real Sand. I've got Urban Decay. Look at that tube. Wow, that's sad. Um, my blush today is Neutrogena Healthy Glow. This is one I got on sale. Well, if I could open it. One that I got on sale. I think it's the same colors as the ones um, with the Color Booster or Happy Booster, the ones with the little hearts. Anyways, I bought that for 75% off some time ago. On my lips, I have Tarte Lip Surgeons in Flashy. It's the first time I've worn this color. It's a little pink for me, but I like it. Um... I have Rimmel Pure White in the Waterline. I have some Bonnie Bell in Plum Girly on my inner tear duct, which is a really interesting color, and I've had it for, I don't know, seven, eight, ten years. There's no way they make that anymore. And then I've been using the Wet n' Wild Baked... I have no idea what this is called. I gotta tell you, I bought two of the baked, uh, but this one and the one that's got the golden kind of rusty colors in it, and I don't really like them. I have all of the Wet n Wild color icon, maybe not all, but I have a whole ton of it, and um, these are really sheer. So if you don't mind layer, 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 and you don't just want huge color payoff, then you might enjoy these, but I'm not a huge fan. At any rate, um, what I did is I used the pink color all over my lid. Like I pack that on all over the bottom. And then I've got this kind of violet purpley color doing an outer V. So it's under my eye and in the crease. And then um, as a brow highlight, I've used this Revlon Brightener in number 10, which I really kind of like. I use it for a cheek highlight too. It's good stuff. If you see it anywhere, I would recommend picking that up. Um, and so that's where I am so far. Oh, and I use the e.l.f. Uh, gel eyeliner in Midnight, which is a deep, deep blue, black color. And so I've got kind of a wing built out on that on both sides. So I guess my first question before I add these luster drops is, am I doing something wrong by wearing white after, what, Labor Day? See, um, I don't know if I can't wear white just after Labor Day, or if I can't wear white shoes, belt, and purse after Labor Day. Like, is white in general off limits after Labor Day? I don't know. You tell me. I'm wearing this white sweater because I really like it, and I don't really care if it's too late. Okay. So, I've worn these luster drops. I keep calling them luster drops. Liquid luster once before, and what I did is I dropped it onto my finger, and then I patted on with my finger and I found that to be a little bit cumbersome and it was hard to get the application exactly where I wanted it. So I didn't totally love that application. It was a little clumsy. So this is only going to be my second application of this. So what I've decided to do is drop it on the back of my hand and then I'm going to apply with this Sephora smudge brush, which is a short, really densely packed brush. My, my idea is to, you know, pull it off of my hand and then be able to apply it pretty thickly just onto my lid. So, here we go. Let's see how that works out. So, I'm going to make sure that it's shaken up really good. I'm going to take a couple of 
well, just one drop, I think, will probably do me. Okay. So you can see it's really liquidy. That would run. It looks like it's holding, but it would run really easily if I wanted to let it. So I am going to... That's all kind of packed onto my brush. Let's see. Well, right off the bat, I can tell you this is a better application than using your fingers. I had seen a video where Marlena over at, um, oh, what's the name of her page? Anyways, you know who I'm talking about, Marlena. Um, she had used this, and it looked really great on her. And I was able to pick it up on sale, so I thought, well, it's a unique product. It's not something I normally spend the money on for high-end product. Normally, I, I reserve my high-end space for staples, and then fun stuff goes to drugstores. But, you know, sometimes you got to splurge. Whoops, that drop was way bigger than the previous one. So, can you see the glitter? I'm sure you can. I feel like it's really dark behind me, even though it's not really dark outside. Sort of the lighting of my house. Okay, oopsie. So that's the application that I was going for. I think it looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna take what's left on the brush and just go under my eye a little bit. So I have some sparkles down there. I probably have some on my hand still too. I'm going to smudge in that eyeliner because I thought it was a little dark. Okay. So what do you think? Do you like that look? Is it too over the top? Am I too old to wear it? Does it not go with a white shirt? Your opinion is valuable. Okay, so I've got um, my liquid gel liner in Midnight from e.l.f. I have these in all of the off colors, I think five or six of them, and I don't love them, but for three dollars, I like them. I'm just going to deepen that line, and I'm not going to make the wing as dark as it was, because I don't really like that. I have the hardest time with the gel eyeliner right here on my left side. certainly not left-handed. Can't do a thing with it. Can you go left-handed? That would be weird if you could. And then to top it off, I'm going to use the Hypnos Doll Eye Mascara. This is only my second or third day of using this. It's an interesting brush. I am a huge, huge fan of the Hypnos, just the regular Hypnos, not the drama. I think that's too clumpy but just the regular old Lancome Hypnos. I think it's awesome. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people use this mascara lately, Lisa Eldridge, and um, I think the Pixie Woo girls have used it. And so I decided that I would pick that up. And I like it, but I'm not sure I love it. I 
think I like the applicator on just the regular hip nose better. Okay. So I suppose that's well, I suppose that's the final look. My hair needs some more attention. This is not final, but here we go. What do you think? Is the glitter too much? Am I too old for it? I'm 34. Well, let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.